The real core of what we do is uh, providing information technology to the energy industry. So today from our network operations center here in Boston, we actually control about 8,000 megawatts of power demand, which means that within minutes we can make 8,000 megawatts of consumption disappear off the system. So what we do is empower businesses to reduce their peak just like they were a power plant. But instead of uh, generating electricity, we're actually reducing consumption so that we help bring supply and demand on the grid in balance all the time. So it's a, it's a much more efficient way to really approach the, the power markets than, than the supply side only focus that we've had for the past hundred years. What we've been able to do is something that is pretty straightforward when you think about it. We are reducing electricity usage at peak times so that the grid can avoid a blackout or a brownout and we can keep prices more in check. We can reduce the high peak prices on the electricity grid during those high usage days. That's a pretty straightforward concept, but we're applying that in an innovative way to the electricity grid. And you know, we're doing it in a massive scale, 8,000 plus megawatts of demand response under management, 700 employees globally that are bringing this basic concept to a huge set of commercial, industrial, and institutional end users of electricity. I came to talk uh, from more of an environmental background and I went to business school to get more of a just general business education because I was frustrated at the, the sort of lack of understanding between the environmental community and the business community. Um, so I came very much to just get a core business education and while I was there um, in my first, first semester, Tim and I were in the, in the same study groups. Literally within months of getting to Tuck, we did it in our spare time. It wasn't really part of any coursework. It was more that we started doing Enernoc and then Enernoc became something that we could then ingrain into our cor coursework or at least tie some of, our, um, some of our courses into the entrepreneurial experience. And we did that. You know, we took a private equity course. We took um, the second year entrepreneurship course. And all those things were all geared to trying to understand what Enernoc was, was going to um, need to know in those first few years of getting going. Tuck was absolutely supportive, and uh, I feel actually that we were sort of more dedicated to our, to our academic pursuits while we were there because it was really grounded in applying the learnings uh, from, from coursework to, to further the venture. So whether it was marketing or finance or um, the, the little pieces of sales training that we had, we were very hungry to absorb as much as we could so that we could apply it right to Enernoc and really further the business. If I were to start Enernoc again and pick any business school where you know, I'd want to be in order to start that and have all the ingredients just right, I'd pick Tuck again. You know, I'd pick it again because the network helped us start this business. From getting financing to just really solidifying the idea to having the support of, of folks in our network to tell us where to go, tell us who to meet with, tell us what things were going on that were going to help our business early on. All of that happened at Tuck. The energy industry is it's absolutely not been an easy path. When we first formed the venture, there was no clean technology, there was no term smart grid, and VCs definitely didn't invest in, in energy technology. And so it was, when we graduated, it was immediately after the, the dot-com bubble, so not necessarily the best time to be out raising money and starting a company. And, so getting venture capital was a, was, was a, a year-long, um, very, very hard um, process where we probably got turned down by 36 different VC firms before we finally succeeded. Fortunately, you know, we did eventually find someone that wanted to make an investment in us. It was through our entrepreneurship professor at Tuck who reached out to his venture capital firm, um, you know, made an introduction, and that introduction led to our Series A investment. So there was, you know, certainly good fortune Usually good fortune happens because you've put yourself in the right place and then the timing, uh, you know, eventually is right for, you know, what you've basically positioned yourself for. One of the things that, that I think is so remarkable about Tuck and, and something that was, uh, that really taught us here was uh, the collaboration, the collaborative environment. Um, I think Tuck, because of what it is and, and where it is and, uh, and everything about its history, it really attracts team-oriented players. Uh, which is why we've continued to hire 
people from Dartmouth and, and from Tuck because it's people that, that really know how to operate on, within a team and uh, they're not sort of self-focused and self-centered people but people to think about how they can further advance an overall team endeavor and uh, so, so Tuck I think has been a wonderful place in that regard. And you could count on that being a key feature and a key characteristic of a Tuck grad that they worked well in teams, they could contribute to the team, they liked being on teams and they liked seeing those teams successful and the teams generally were more successful than teams that didn't have Tuck grads on them. Here at Enternock, one of the things we find is we find really, really talented employees that want to care about something beyond just the bottom line profits of the business. Personally, I think that you know, in the next um, several decades, we're going to see that more and more businesses have to focus on that because the responsibility of a corporation goes beyond just the bottom line profits. The, the responsibility of a corporation is to do something that makes society better and drives profitability for its shareholders and its investors. And I think Enernox has done that.